The African Union continues to demonstrate its commitment to gender and development with its efforts on gender and women's empowerment duly reflected in the Agenda 2063, which is a comprehensive 50-year plan developed to accelerate socio-economic transformation on the continent. The flagship program under the President's AU Gender and Development Championship is a Gender and Development Initiative for Africa, GADIA. It is structured around the pillars of developing women's economic empowerment through the private sector and increasing women's political participation. The Ministry of Gender and Social Protection has seized this opportunity of Ghana 60 years on to ensure that with the LEAP, we have achieved 54% in terms of beneficiaries out of close to 1 million beneficiaries. We have various policies like the gender policy, the children and welfare policy, the Children's Act, the Human Trafficking Act, Ending Child Marriage Policy, Social Protection Policy and the like, ensure that women are protected. Liberian President Ellen Johnson Salif lauded President Ekufado for appointing many women in his administration. The ability to know what you want and to be able to stand up for the things you believe in and to be able to take a stand wherever you are in whatever way. Those are some of the things that we now see and women have come such a long way that there's no turning back as we move on to be able to expand. President Ekufuado stressed on the need to invest in girls and women on the African continent. Research has found that the mother's level of education has a direct influence on economic productivity of both her family, community, and the nation. Thus, having African women as leaders in business and politics, is, as, the, as is the theme of this event, is a must if we are to shed off the evils of poverty, ignorance, and disease, and put our continent onto the path of sustainable progress and prosperity. Adele Kwesi, Machtube, reporting for Metro News.